need to get a better camera set up over here. Hey everyone, and welcome to this installment of Mike's Vehicle Vlogs. At this point, this is vlog number 12. So I've already been putting out many, many vlogs that, well, as of right now, as this is being recorded, there's only uh, five <laughs> that are actually published on YouTube. So this is, um, you know, I'm definitely been filming these way ahead of time before they're actually being uh, published, and I'm kind of hoping I can get out of that habit, but um, I've actually been coming up with, uh, you know, a bunch of ideas and uh, a bunch of um, concepts to, you know, so I can actually roll out the series with a bunch of interesting things. At least I hope they're interesting. Again, they've just been kind of, you know, coming out really quickly, um, and the ideas just keep coming. Now, I keep trying to find interesting topics um, to, to use in these vlogs, but uh, you know, I, I don't want every single vlog to just be about a past car or um, you know, home video footage or um, even you know, behind the scenes stuff or checking up on how, how the cars are doing. I mean, I'm trying to think of some other concepts to use in the series and one concept that I came up with that I thought might be pretty interesting are driving habits. I've decided that there's the train. So I've decided that I would I wanted to do I was the original idea was to do one vlog where you know I kinda talk about driving habits. I talk about my driving habits and I would even film people that I know driving and talk to them about their driving habits. And the test, <laughs> I don't want to say the test, but the first subject that I used for this, um, this topic was my brother Tyler. After driving around with him for a little bit and we talked about his habits, there were actually, you know, there's actually a lot of footage um, with him alone that would make this vlog ridiculously long so my wife had actually kinda gave me the idea to make it into several episodes kinda like uh, a series within a series and I, I like that idea so I'm gonna roll with that one instead you know everybody has their own driving habits um, we can only hope that many people have more good driving habits than bad and uh, basically that's kind of what I wanted to explore so you know um, at some point you know I'll be on camera and you know uh, we'll film how I usually drive every day in my vehicle you're about to see my brother Tyler you know performing his daily driving routine his his habits um, and he's the only one that I've got right now but I'm hoping within the next you know a uh, couple days weeks or so you know I I'll be able to get, um, um, you know, like my my wife to do to volunteer for this. Uh, my mom has already agreed to this, um, so I just got to find the time to actually film them. So the nice thing about this is, uh, you know, I don't know when this whole driving habit topic will disappear. So, you know, it might they're not going to be rolled out continuously, but you know. Um, there's always an opportunity to talk about somebody else's driving habits. I thought it was a very interesting topic. Um, we actually got into some interesting discussion with Tyler. Um, he thought that it was an interesting topic. And um, I just think it's something that, you know, it, it starts to get people thinking about, you know, how, wh what kind of driving habits they have. So that's why I thought it would be an interesting topic. More so also to see, you know, do you do certain things that we don't, or do we do certain things that you don't? I mean, it's, it's I think it's a very uh, interesting concept to uh, film. So, let's get started. 
This is Mike's Vehicle Vlogs, Tyler's Driving Habits. Uh, especially on a day like this, I should be driving with just my thumb and one finger, but that's the most comfortable position. And, you know, at times when I want to look cool, No, but mainly I do drive with one hand, and I think that's sort of a habit for a lot of people. Uh, my right hand usually stays here, or even more awkwardly, like this. That's not even a joke. <laughs> Honestly, I do that too when okay. it's cold out. Yeah. yeah, when it's cold out, I usually do that too. Uh, it just looks like my hand right here on the, the, sh the gear shifter. Is there a better term for this? No, nope. just gear shifter. Shifter, selector, gear selector. Oh, I hope we do a turn because sometimes you'll see my fingers do something weird. So if we do like a turn like this, you'll see. <laughs> now that I'm like actually thinking about my habits, this is so strange. <laughs> and then I do this. See, like now I'm thinking about like, oh my god, am I, am I weird? <laughs> is this weird? <laughs> I don't think so. I think that's that was the whole point of the video is to kind of explore what other people's driving habits are right. and see exactly like how many people might do the same stuff you do or how many people. Um, don't do the things that you do, you and I do. Come on! Do you ever have um, moments of road rage? Uh, or do you think you do? I, I like to imagine I'm pretty contained. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm pretty passive about like things, like if someone cuts me off, like uh, I'm not like, you know, but I will and I will, uh, I will give credit to my mom for this. <laughs> Look at you, mom. Um, when we were younger, growing up, she would always tell people, like she'd get really close. Oh, yes. And I think I picked up on that. Like if someone, <laughs> like for example, pulls out in front of me and there's no one else behind me, I was like, you could have waited, man. I'll just get like really close. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I seriously blame mom for that. Because <laughs> the one thing I'm gonna point out with mom is the way she holds the wheel. This? Yeah. <laughs> yep, he's perfectly demonstrating how our mom drives, yeah. and she's driven like that ever since ever since I was a kid. I can remember her always holding the wheel like that. Didn't matter how many spokes no. were on the wheel, she always found a way to hold the wheel uh, at the position that you just you just had it at. This is this is mine though. Like I I don't really. It's not even the, the safest thing. Like <laughs> I could easily. And this sounds so dark, but I can lose control. <laughs> hey, look, I'm just comfortable like this. Oh, one thing that Aaron pointed out about my driving habits is that I drive too close to people, like all the time. Not even just when I, you know, passive aggressively try to really make someone angry. I really, I guess I just drive too close, but that's not really a habit that I noticed. Oh, I gotta watch this garbage can. Literally, it's right there. <laughs> wow, yeah. It's this wire like flinging around. It's great. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Watch my fingers. Okay, see that? They go like full spread. <laughs> Interesting. Do you ever find yourself speeding um, when you don't mean to? Yes. I typically go five or nothing more than that. Uh, I like to imagine that I'm somewhat of a safe driver. Um, but at times, if I catch it, like I'll slow down. Like I don't, I don't like to speed a lot, especially on a day like today where it's this rainy and snowy and icy. Why did I say rainy? It's clearly snow. <laughs> it's not. It's well, not rain anyway. You know, this is Ohio. It might. It could turn to rainy any second. I think the five mile an hour thing is. I think that's pretty common for a lot of people. I think it's. Everybody that it's I know. Cushion. Yeah, everybody that I know does it. I do it from time to time. I mean. I don't think people really follow the speed limit as a speed limit. Like right like now it's 35. <laughs> yeah, he's probably going like a little over 40, but like it's 35 right now. Like we're already hovering over that. <laughs> that's that's what people do. They don't they don't they go five over and that's it. A driving instructor. I asked a question about that one time because like about the five over? Yeah, the five over, five under type thing. And like she said, it's it's not like a written law, you know. I mean, the speed limit is the speed limit. Yeah. But a lot of people do that because typically no speedometer in a car is perfectly correct. Okay. 
So yeah, it does kind of give you that extra cushion. Um, you know, five-ish. I mean, typically, I don't think you'd get pulled over for doing five over. Dude, whoa, what are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy in his car. Anyway, um, something that uh, I just talked to Aaron about um, is when like, you're trying to turn, like you're the first car, and you're trying to turn, and you know, you're in the middle of the intersection, so when it turns red, you have to go. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Is that well described? Yeah, because you don't want to sit in the middle of the intersection. I don't do that. Like, I'll sit back if it's, you know, if it's green and I don't see a chance to go. I'm not going to go and sit in the middle of the intersection. That's one of my pet peeves that I think a lot of people do that I don't like to do. Interesting. Yeah. I hate it. Because, because go ahead. Because I do that. See, that's what I'm saying. I think a lot of people do it. I was kind of taught to do that. That's weird. I just I just sit back. Like, I don't care if I make people angry or if they have somewhere to go. Like, I, I think it's... I don't know, safer, and I have less anxiety when I'm not sitting in the middle of the intersection. Huh. Now see, this is already turning out to be a very interesting topic. I know. <laughs> it really is. But now I'm like, I'm really starting to think about the little things that I do. And, what about oh, okay. people who walk in the middle of the road? I try to get as close as possible to them. I imagine <laughs> I'm in a video game, and if I like it really close to them, uh, I get like points the closer I get without hitting them. Oh, look at this. What's, with all What's going on here? People? What's going on? Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, here's a driving habit. <laughs> if I see a car in the middle of the road, I have to slow down to not hit it. <laughs> what is with today? <laughs> what was that? I'm pretty sure they picked up a hitchhiker. That's scary. I mean, it may, it may have been someone they knew, but from my vantage point, it looked like someone they didn't know. And he was like, yeah, come on in. Driving habit. I don't stop for hitchhikers. There you go, that's a good one. I mean, you know, I think the odds of them being an axe murderer are severely low, but, you know, I don't want to take that chance. Yeah. Do you always wear your seatbelt? Yes. Actually, I have to. That's a good question. If I'm not wearing my seatbelt, and this has nothing to do with, it sounds bad, but it's not like I need to be safe. I just feel more comfortable driving with it. Like, I, it's, I guess it's OCD in a sense. Like, if I'm not wearing my seatbelt, I can't go anywhere. So if you noticed, if you paid attention, at the moment of me getting in my car, the very first thing I did was, well, actually I turned on my car and I put the seatbelt on. But I have to wear it. Safety's important too, but the comfort thing is like yeah. a priority. <laughs> I know what you kind of mean though, because if you don't wear your seatbelt, you kind of feel like you're floating. Yeah, it's like, weird. You just don't feel like you're in, in place well. There's another good question. When somebody rides in the front passenger seat, yeah. do you make them wear the seatbelt? Or do you just let them do what they want? Uh, I make a note of it. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you know, put your seatbelt on. It's not like I'm not gonna go anywhere if they're not wearing it. Um, I'll know it though, like if it's like yelling at me. I'll yeah, the car will say, chime like, hey, for the passenger. I don't want to hear this anymore. <laughs> and this car is loud too. This car is a loud chime. No, it really is. No, but I'll definitely, I'll definitely notice it. And uh, you know, I'm not gonna go. You better put on your seatbelt, or we're not going anywhere. Do it now. I'm not like that. I'm like, hey, put on your seatbelt. Also, I dance without, I don't use the wheel at all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's talk about how you're filming vlogs and I'm not. <laughs> That's a topic of discussion. I have so many of uh, you guys commenting on these videos from time to time. You guys want to know when Tyler's oh, look making. Look at this, look at this. Oh, yes. Look at this. Good. Look at this guy. Good, yeah. Why is this happening all <laughs> while you're recording? <laughs> Idiots. Anyway. A lot of you guys want to know why Tyler hasn't been making any vlogs. Well, yeah, well, this is this is good. This is good because I will, I'll say to your viewers, um, I will. This is actually kind of a secret. I will have a video very shortly. Um, At the time actually, that when, this when, is posted, do you know when you're posting this one, this, this it, specific one, it's December thirtieth right now. Yeah, it's not going to be for a while because honestly, the um, the the Grand Prix episode. Oh yeah, is going to be episode eleven and. The driving habits one is probably going to be 12. Okay. Um, but um, as of right now, I just put the fourth one up. So I've been doing two. Oh, man. So, so I'm really, yeah. So there's a chance that as as okay. you guys are watching this, uh, this vlog may already be out. There's going to be a, a video kind of, I guess, explaining the lack of video and the future for video. Ah. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's, already, that's already too much information. <clears throat> but again, at the time of this being posted, that video may already be, be out. 
or videos. You might already and if it's have. not up, uh, I'm very disappointed in myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on my my, uh, my little break, my little sabbatical. Uh, we go on a little break from the scrappers during Christmas and New Year. But where are we going right now? <laughs> to the stadium. We are actually <laughs> we're going to the stadium to actually film footage for the Grand Prix. Grand, 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 Prix. Grand Prix. Grand Prix vlog. This is the that Grand I'm Prix. <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! What is happening? <laughs> this is a great day to have the camera. No joke, Mike, and to your viewers, I've never, like, I rarely get pulled out in front of. I'm pretty careful with, you know, with my driving habits. Um, but these people are, like, literally on the, the most dangerous roads possible right now, ice and snow. They're just pulling out on this, they don't care. Wow, what a weird day. I, uh, I don't think, I don't think I'm that strange, you know? I think I'm, I'm a fairly comfortable driver. I'm very safe. I always wear my seatbelt. I very rarely, rarely speed, and I try to avoid hitting all the cars that pull out in front of me. But uh, I really had to think about my driving habits for the first time, and I don't think I see anything strange. I mean, that's up to you. It's a very subjective thing. So if you think I'm a strange driver, that's, that's you. I'm pretty normal, though. Pretty normal. You see what I mean? So many interesting things that you know, we kind of think about <laughs> that we just do every day, kind of subconsciously, um, you know, and we actually like kind of looked into, you know, Tyler's habits. It made him realize, you know, things that he might do that he didn't realize that he did. Um, I just, I, I thought it would be a very awesome thing to, uh, to see. So we'll, we'll end up seeing a couple of other driving habit uh, <laughs> subjects um, here within the next few vlogs down the road. If you happen to have any driving habits that you'd like to share with us, leave a comment down below and uh, that way we can all see it. <laughs> also while you're at it, like and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to check out Mike's Vehicle Spotlight, which is my official vehicle touring segment that I post on this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this topic, stay tuned for some other driving habit videos coming within these vlogs, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.